Today at Coyote Classics, we're checking out this beautiful rotisserie restored 1973 Mustang convertible. Beautiful sound in 302 underneath the hood. And a couple days ago, it was convertible weather here in Iowa. But um, today the temperatures dropped a little bit and we're getting a little flurry of snow. So we'll hurry through this video and get this car back inside. But um, engine runs really strong. So rotisserie restored car, the previous owner had stated that the motor and transmission were rebuilt uh, during the restoration and they run, drive, shift awesome. Engine bay is very detailed. Paint on the inner fenders is gorgeous. You can tell all new bolts. When they painted the car, they took all the body panels um, off, painted them and, and reassembled them back on the car. And then even just the you know, detail on the engine compartment and on the motor, all the right hoses, um, you know, right stickers, right hose there coming from the air cleaner. Does have power steering and power brakes. Bottom of the hood paints gorgeous. It's got the um, heat shield there covering that hood. Firewall's beautiful. Hood sits down beautiful, and I love the, the color on this Mustang. Um, yesterday I pictured her and we got a little more sunshine. It's got a lot of beautiful metallic in it. Paint was done very professionally. Front bumper's in good shape. A lot of times you'll see little cracks and stuff on these um, plastic bumpers. This one, I'm not seeing any. Grill looks good, headlight uh, looks good. A nice hood gap from front to back, lines up great in the back corners. They did do the kind of the Mach 1 side stripe decals, which I really like. It just sets the car apart, gives it a, a really good look. Love the choice of wheels and tires as well. Um, you got what looks like newer Goodyear tires, good looking uh, five spoke wheels. Down on the lower rocker, you're gonna have some little paint chips, things like that, um, come with every single car, but the paint quality is really good. It's got a great shine. Metallic was laid well. Don't see any orange peel or anything like that in the paint. Rocker's very solid. Door fits great too. Rust-free corner door, you can still see your factory seam seal. Looks like rubbers were replaced. Door jam paint's awesome. Rocker's really nice, even your correct sticker. And the interior on this Mustang's very nice as well. Dash pad looks good, paint on the top of the dash looks nice. Working original AM radio. And this is removable. I don't know why anyone would wanna remove it, but if you ever wanted to, you can take it out, but it's awfully nice because then you have a place to rest your arm. You got cup holders and it uh, matches and looks good in here too. Both driver and passenger seat look really good. Back seat looks good. You got seat belts for two in the back and you have front seat belts as well. Brady, you want to start taking the convertible top boot off and then we'll put the, put the top up for our test drive. Quarter looks good and really straight up and down the sides. I'm back. Welcome to the party. I'm Checking back. out a Mustang. It's a little cold, but I'm back. Chad just got back from California. Got back yeah. to cold old Iowa. But yeah, gorgeous car. This one's one that went and bought actually right before I went to California. So perfect car, ne almost nearly perfect, isn't it? Even in here, you can see all the um, inside of the top bits is painted, top rails look good. Previous owner um, put a brand new top on it. I don't know if you mentioned he went through the drivetrain. Um, just super nice car. So go ahead and put the top up. Yeah. I haven't seen much for imperfections. The paint's really nice. I didn't see nothing when I bought it, I know. Uh -uh. Maybe a couple small little rock chips down low, but definitely a car you can take to your um, your show and, and win uh, win some awards with. Power yeah, if you top. want a nice one, this is yeah. beautiful. It is. Power top goes up really nice. And it does have a glass back window, brand new top. 
Did you mention that all the rails and stuff were all blasted and painted as well? I don't know if you mentioned that, yeah. but that's perfect in here. It's really nice. They went above and beyond on the restoration on the on this car. Rocker looks great. And that color, now on the driver's side, you can really see that, that, that color good in the right light. It's beautiful green. Looks good with the top up too. It does. They did a nice job on it from front to back. I'm excited to drive it. Let's do it. As Dalton probably checked out the passenger side, driver's side corner of the door is perfect. Make sure you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Check out the floor pan pictures. They're all painted black as well. Original door panel has just a little tiny little scuff right there. But when they did the paint on the uh, door jams, corners of the doors, everything was jammed beautifully. Dash pad is excellent. Seats are great, front and back. Man, I should have stayed in California. <laughs> I know. Well, I think you, I heard it was kind of cold out there too when you were out it there. It was, but nothing like this. We had some nice weather the last few days. Remote mirror works good. Um, kind of go through everything a little bit. Horn works. Wipers Wipe work, yeah. And they got good blades on them as well. This even works. Does it? Yeah. It's probably going to make a liar out of me, but it worked perfect the other day to find an AM station. That's all I care that works. It does. Heater fan works on it. This one, yeah. Get that corner on the outside. Radio's warming up. I can hear it crackling. <laughs> it is, ain't it? Come on, old Philco. I believe you know. That light even works in there. It turns on and off, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's a great car. Like you said, if you want a really nice one, this is it. And why not have a nice one? Yeah. If you're going to spend, you know, 25000 for just a driver that needs a lot of work, why not spend the extra ten and get something super and nice? That's the thing I tell people, too, is you're going to end up spending it anyway. Whether you try to, you know, start cheap and buy some that's going to need work. I mean, all, all classic cars are going to need need some work, but you get what you pay for. Exactly. Um, the only thing I'm seeing right now that's not working is the fuel gauge. Either it's not working or it's on empty, so. Yeah, I think it might be a little bit low. You think so? But either way, it'll work before it leaves, so. That's one common problem we usually get in with cars is the fuel sending units usually are crap. But. Well, the technology in these old cars is still kind of old, you know. The, the Thank you, Philco. I told you it worked. Listening to a little March Madness today <laughs> on the AM Philco radio. We're gonna have to let these cars warm up a little bit today. I know, it's chilly. Um, as far as our steering goes though, the steering's absolutely perfect. It goes nice straight down the road. Downshift there in a second. Just a really nice, really nice cruiser. Suspension feels great. It is. It's got a little bit of wind noise here, just from the from that rubber. The rubbers are all new, but it's just you're convertible. Gonna, you're gonna have that. We just had a 2022 Corvette convertible. Yeah. I took to Des Moines. That thing had wind noise. It's brand new, and it's a you know a hard top convertible Corvette. So exactly. you're gonna have wind noise, especially in any convertible, especially one that's 50 years old. Speedometer works perfect. Let's just turn it around here. Check the brakes one more time. Now that we got it warmed up. Brakes are perfect. No pull left or right. Steering wheel's perfectly straight. Again, when we do these and check them out, we pull all the wheels completely off, pull the drums off, and just check, make sure no wheel cylinders are leaking, no pads are saturated, uh, making sure the uh, disc brake pads are good, shoes are good. So, I want to mention this too on a convertible because a lot of people ask, well, is it watertight? <laughs> the, the new Corvette, that, you know, year old Corvette, $80,000 car. I took it to a car wash a while and I hand washed it. and. The window is leaking water on that, you know, if you take it through a car wash or yeah. wash it, spray water directly on it. So, yeah. I mean, expectations. Heater fan works great. Yep. I'm going to go through the gears once, Dean, and then we'll, now that she's warmed up. It's just a little 302. Shift's great, though. Yeah. I just want to go through the gears manually. Nice shift there in the third. That's 60 mile an hour. Speedometer works good. Just you could jump in it and, and drive it and enjoy it and show it. You know, Absolutely. that's what the previous owner did. 
Yep. Pretty much all he did the last few years is just drove it, restored it and drove it to shows. That's what she is. Great Mustang. Check it out on our website, coyoteclassics.com. If you enjoy the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button um, and comment down below what you think of this little Mustang. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. It's a really good car. It is a great car.